So acid bases and zones, the important questions. First question, name the acid which is present in the following tomato. So oxalic acid is present in the tomato. Acetic acid is present in the vinegar. The tartaric acid is present in the tamarind. Second question, 15 ml of water and the 10 ml of the sulfuric acid are to be mixed in a beaker. State the method that should be followed with reason. Okay. So always we have to add the acid to the water, not water to the acid. So the acid is added slowly in water to prevent the mixture to be splashed. So because it is highly exothermic reaction, exothermic means it releases a lot amount of the heat. So to avoid that only, we have to add the, slowly we have to add the acid to the water. So therefore then constant, uh, this one, that shaking should be done. Then it should be in a proper way of the mixing the water and the acid. So this process we call it as a dilution. Explain how antacid works. So the hyperacidity is caused by the excess of the hydrochloric acid is present in the stomach. So this antacid is basic in nature. So this antacid will go and it will neutralize the excess acid which is present in the stomach and it will give the relief from the pain caused by the hyperacidity. Define olfactory indicators. Name two substances which can be used as the olfactory indicator. Choose the strong acids from the following CH3COOH, H2SO4, uh, carbonic acid, nitric acid. Okay. So the olfactory indicators means who smell changes in the acidic or the basic solutions. Example, onion and the vanilla. So the strong acids are nothing but the H2SO4, sulfuric acid, nitric acid. So these two acids are the strong acids. Carbonic acid is a weak acid. And CH3CO, which acetic acid is also the weak acid. Your white colored powder is used by doctors for supporting the fractured bones. So write the chemical name and the formula of the powder. When this white powder is mixed with water, your hot solid mass is uptight. Write the balanced chemical equation for the change. So the White colored powder is used by the doctor as calcium sulfate hemihydrate. The formula is CaSO4, calcium sulfate is CaSO4. Hemi means half, hydrate means water. So 1 by 2 H2O. So this is the formula. So now when you are mixing with the water, so 3 by 2 O2, it forms the CaSO4 dot 2 H2O. So this is the solid mass. So explain the action of dilute hydrochloric acid on the following with chemical equation. Okay. So now magnesium ribbon. So magnesium is present in the high reactivity series. So it will definitely react with the HCl. So Mg plus 2 HCl is so a dilute gives MgCl2 plus H2 gas. Next one is the sodium hydroxide. So the sodium hydroxide is NaOH reacts with the HCl and it forms the NaCl plus water. So this reaction we call it as a neutralization reaction because the base is neutralized by the acid. Next one is the crushed egg cells. Okay, so this contains the calcium carbonate. CaCO3 reacts with the HCl forms CaCl2 calcium chloride plus H2O plus CO2. Next question. State reason for the following statements. Tap water conducts electricity, whereas distilled water does not. Okay. Because the tap water contains the ions, so which can able to conduct the electricity. See, because the water is the one which is a weaker one. So it always goes into the equilibrium, so it does not contain the good amount of the ions, so they are a very poor conductor of the electricity. So, but the tap water contains some of the ions, say for example, Na plus, K plus and all it contains. So, because of that, it can able to conduct the electricity. The distilled water does not contain any ions which contains purely H2O. So, because of that, it does not conduct the electricity. 
Dry hydrogen chloride gas does not turn blue litmus red, whereas dilute hydrochloric acid does. Okay. So the dry HCl does not form the ions, but HCl gives the H plus and the Cl minus. Yes. So once it gives the H plus, this H plus only can able to turn the blue litmus red. But in the hydrogen chloride gas, it is a gas. So it, in the gaseous state, the HCl does not exist in the form of the ion. That's why this dry HCl does not form the ions. So because of that only, it does not turn the blue litmus red. During the summer season, a milkman usually adds a very small amount of baking soda to the fresh milk. Because the baking soda does not allow the milk to change to the lactic acid, which makes the milk sour. Because in the summer season, the temperature is quite high. It will easily convert the milk to the lactic acid. So to avoid that, he is adding the baking soda. For a dilution of the acid, acid is added to the water and not water to the acid. Yes, because adding water to the acid is very high exothermic reaction. So therefore, the water is added to the acid very slowly with the cooling. Ammonia is a base but does not contain hydroxyl group. So ammonia dissolves in the water and forms the H minus. Therefore, it is basic in nature. So it forms actually the OH minus. So basic ions, hydroxide ions it will form. So that's why it is basic in nature. So if any compound if it capable of produces the hydroxide ion that we call it as a base. If the any ion it can capable of producing the H plus ions so that we call it as a acid. Write the chemical formula of hydrated copper sulfate and anhydrous copper sulfate giving an activity illustrate how these are interconvertible. So, the copper sulfate, CuSO4.5H2O. So, hydrated means it's associated with the molecule of the water that we call it as hydrated. So, the copper sulfate usually associates with the five molecules of the water. So, CuSO4.5H2O and CuSO4. Without the water molecule, we call it as a anhydrous, anhydrous copper sulfate. Okay. So, now the, our aim is to show the crystalline salts contains the water of crystallization. Materials required. So the copper sulfate 5H2O. This also we call it as a blue vitriol because it is blue in color. Boiling tube, burner, cork, delivery tube, test tube and the clamp stand. Procedure. So now we have to take the 2 gram of the copper hydrated copper sulfate in a boiling test tube. Fitted in a clamp stand. Observe its color. Fitted with cork and the delivery tube bent at two right angles which dips into the test tube. So now we have to heat the boiling tube. Now observe the vapors being condensed in the test tube. So cool the crystals and add the few drops of water into it. Okay. Observations. So the water vapor gets condensed in the test tube and the color of the blue crystals changes into the white when we are heating the boiling tube. At the same time, when you are adding the anhydrous copper sulfate, uh, the water to it, it again turns the blue color. So this we call it as a reversible reaction because we can convert the reactants to the products and the products to the reactants. So the conclusion, the crystalline substances have the water of crystallization which are lost on heating. At the same time, when you are adding the water to the same crystals, it will again form the saturated solution. So, this we call it as both are inner interconvertible reactions. Next one. Write the chemical names and the formula of plaster of Paris and the gypsum. Okay. So, the plaster of Paris is nothing but CaSO4 dot half H2O, the calcium sulfate hemihydrate. We call it as plaster of Paris. Then the gypsum is where well, CaSO4 dot 2 H2O. So how will you get the gypsum? When we have to add the water to the plaster of Paris, we'll get the gypsum. State the chemical properties on which the following uses of baking soda are used. As an antacid. Okay. 
So the antacid is nothing but it is a weakly basic in nature and it just neutralizes the hyperacidity. So the excess acid which is present in the stomach that is neutralized by the antacid. As in soda, acid fire extinguisher. So it liberates the carbon dioxide gas then it is reacting with the H2SO4 sulfuric acid which extinguishes the fire. To make the bread and the cake soft and spongy because it liberates the carbon dioxide on heating so which makes the bread and the cake soft and the sponge. How is the washing soda is obtained from the baking soda? Write the balance of the chemical equation. Okay. So now this is the formula for the baking soda is 2NaHCO3. So when you are heating, you will get the Na2CO3 plus CO2 plus H2O. So the baking soda on heating gives the sodium carbonate which on crystallization from the hydrated washing soda. So when you are adding the water, you will get the Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O. So name the natural source of each of the following acids. So citric acid which is present in the lemon and the orange. The oxalic acid so which is present in the tomatoes and the goa. Lactic acid which is present in the sour milk curd. Tartaric acid which is present in the tamarind. A student directed the pH of the four unknown solution A, B, C and D as follows. So um, 11, 5, 7 and 2. Predict the nature of the solution. Okay. So the A is the basic because it's a 11. Above uh, pH 7 we call it as a basic. Below pH 7 we call it as acidic. pH 7 is the neutral. So 5. So pH is below 7 so it is an acid and the 7 is, is neutral and 2 it is a strongly acidic. Give the constituents of the baking powder. So the baking powder contains the sodium hydrogen carbonate and the tartaric acid. So why cake or bread swells on adding the baking powder? Write the chemical equation. Because the bread swells because due to the liberation of the carbon dioxide. So the NaHCO3 is nothing but the baking powder. When you are heating it, we will get the carbon dioxide plus Na2CO3 plus H2O. Now, equal length of magnesium ribbon are taken in the two test tubes A and B. H2SO4 is added to the test tube A and H2CO3 is added in the test tube B in equal amounts. Okay, H2SO4 is nothing but the sulfuric acid, so it is a strong acid. H2CO3 is the carbonic acid which is the weak acid. Okay. So now the strong acid and the weak acid, we are going to react it with the magnesium ribbon, which is a high reactivity series metal. First one, identify the test tube showing the vigorous reaction. So definitely the strong acid will do the vigorous reaction because it can able to give the more ions, H plus ions. So A will show the vigorous reaction give reason to support your answer. So it is because it is a strong acid. Name the gas liberated in both of the tubes. How will you prove its liberation? Okay. So whenever the acid reacts with the reactive metals, the hydrogen gas will be liberated. So to test the hydrogen gas presence, so we have to use the, um, the wooden splint. So it will, the pop sound will be coming near to the test tube. So it proves the presence of the hydrogen gas. Write the chemical equations for both of the reactions. So Mg magnesium plus sulfuric acid H2SO4 gives MgSO4 magnesium sulfate plus H2 hydrogen gas. Mg magnesium plus H2CO3 this is the carbonic acid gives MgCO3 plus H2 gas. So A, H2, okay, uh, write the chemical equations for both. Out of the two acids taken above, which one will have the lower pH value? Okay, so the definitely the A is having the lower pH value because it is having a 
very uh, strong H plus ions. So the pH is around some 1 to 2. The lower H plus concentration respectively. So H2CO3 will have a lower concentration of the H plus because it is a weak acid. So it will not dissociate strongly like that of the H plus. So it is having the very fewer H plus ions. So how will you test for the gas which is liberated when hydrochloric acid reacts with an active metal? Yes. So we have to bring the burning matchstick near to the gas. So we will get the pop sound that shows the presence of the hydrogen. So write the name given to the bases that are highly soluble in water. Give an example. Okay. So example is highly soluble in water usually. So the group 1 metals will show they are highly soluble in water. So sodium hydroxide, alkali. How is tooth decay related to the pH? How can it be prevented? So the lower the pH, the more will be the tooth decay. Because the acid reacts with the calcium phosphate and cause the tooth decay. Okay, so our teeth is made up of the calcium phosphate. It is a base. So when we are taking the acid, so definitely the acid and the base can react. So it will make the neutralization reaction. So the tooth will start decaying. Why does bee sting cause pain and irritation? Rubbing of begging soda on the sting area gives the relief. How? It is due to the formic acid. So it is, uh, so because the bee, whatever the sting, it contains the formic acid. So when we are rubbing with the baking soda, the baking soda is a base. So there will be a neutralization reaction takes place. So sodium hydrogen carbonate, it neutralizes the formic acid, which relieves the pain. Your white powder is added while baking breads and cakes to make them soft and fluffy. Write the name of the powder, name its main ingredients. Explain the function of the each ingredient, write to the chemical reaction taking place when the powder is heated during the baking. So it's the answer is the baking powder. It consists of the uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate and the tartaric acid. So the sodium hydrogen carbonate when we are heating, we will get the sodium carbonate plus carbon dioxide gas and the H2O in the liquid form. The sodium hydrogen carbonate is a basic salt. Justify the statement. So how it is converted into the washing soda? Explain. Okay. So now the sodium hydrogen carbonate is a salt of the sodium hydroxide which is a strong base and the carbonic acid. So it is a basic salt because we are using the strong base so that's why we call it as it's a basic salt. It is converted into the washing soda by heating followed by the crystallization. So when you are heating it we will get the Na2CO3. So like this we have converted the um, baking soda into the washing soda. Describe an activity with the diagram. Illustrate the reaction of the metal carbonates and the metal bicarbonates with acids. Reduces the carbon dioxide. Write the relevant equations of all the reactions that takes place. Name any two forms in which calcium carbonate is found in nature. To aim to show the acid reacts with the metal carbonate to liberate the carbon dioxide. Materials trigger calcium carbonate which is a marble chip. Wolf bottle, crystal funnel, dilute HCl, gas jar, matchbox, delivery tube bent at two right angles, the line water procedure. So we have to take the marble chips in a bottle and we have to separate the apparatus like this. So we have to take the calcium carbonate here and we have to add the dilute HCl into this with the help of the crystal funnel. So when you are adding the head field to the calcium carbonate, the reaction starts. So when the, the bubbles will start coming and that bubbles will go into the delivery tube. So this gas we have to allow to pass through the lime water. Okay. So what will happen? So this lime water, first the gas evolved to the lime water, note down your observations. So now what we have to do is we have to... Uh, Test to the, uh, see the observations of the lime water, it turns to milky. So milky means it will convert into calcium hydroxide, will convert it into the calcium carbonate which is a white solid. So that's why it turns to milky.
So the reaction takes place over here is calcium carbonate, which is a marble, is reacted with the hydrochloric acid, will get the CaCl2 precipitate plus H2O plus CO2. So this CO2 we are allowing to pass through the lime water. The formula is CaOH twice, which is a actually aqueous solution. So once the CO2 pours into the lime water, it turns the milky CaCO3 because it forms the white precipitate plus H2O. When the metal carbonate reacts with the dilute acids to liberate the carbon dioxide, limestone, chalk, marble, or different forms of the calcium carbonate, all metal carbonates and the hydrogen carbonates react with the acids to form the corresponding salts, water, and the carbon dioxide gas. Identify the acid and the base whose combination forms the common salt that you see in your food. Write its formula under the chemical name of the salt. Name the source from where it is obtained. So HCl is an acid and NaOH is a base. The whose combination forms the common salt, that is the NaCl. And it is obtained from the seawater. What is the rock salt? Mention its color and the reason due to which it has this color. So the rock salt is nothing but the common name of the mineral, halite. So its chemical formula is also the NaCl. So it may be a white or light blue or yellow, depending upon the impurities which is present in it. So what happens when electricity is passed through the brine? So brine is nothing but it's a concentrated sodium chloride solution. Write the chemical equation for it. Okay. So when we are causing the electricity into the NaCl, so it will break down into the NaOH plus H2 plus Cl2. The other name for this reaction, we call it as a chloralkali process. Because we will get the three useful products out of the electrolysis of the brine solution. So NaOH, H2 gas and the Cl2 gas. Explain why the hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and acetic acid is a weak acid. How can it be verified? Okay, so strong acid means it is completely ionized. Suppose if we are taking the 100 molecules of the HCl, so we will get it as H plus 100 H plus ions and 100 Cl minus ions. So it's completely ionized. So the weak acid is the one we call it as a partially ionized. It means that suppose if we are taking the 100 molecules of the acetic acid, so out of the 100, only 2 or 3 molecules is dissociated into the H plus ions and the acetate ions that is CH3COO minus. So this we call it as a partial dissociation. Only the few molecules can able to do the dissociation. So that's why we call it as a weak acid. So HCl is a completely ionized in aqueous solution. So acetic acid is partially ionized in the aqueous solution. So HCl gives dark red color with the pH paper, whereas the acetic acid gives the orange color. Explain why the aqueous solutions of an acid conducts the electricity. Because in the aqueous solution, it is converted into the ionic form. So the ions can able to free to move in the liquid state. So these ions can able to conduct the electricity in the aqueous. You have the four solutions, A, B, C, D. The pH of the solution A is 6, B is 9, C is 12, and D is 7. So, identify the most acidic and most basic solutions. Okay, the most acidic is uh, A because it is a less than 7 and most basic is 12. Arrange the following uh, four solutions in the increasing order of the H plus ion concentration. Okay, so we are having a first, it is a C, increasing order because it is a more basic, it means that it contains the less amount of the H plus. So that is a C first. Then comes to the B because it is a 9, it is also the basic. So 9, then 7, then it is a 6. Because when it uh, reaches the 7, it's below 7, it contains the H plus ions. So more number of the H plus ions you can able to see in that stick. So the A is having the more H plus ions. Select the change in color of the pH paper on dipping in solution C and the D. 
So the pH paper will become blue in the C and the green in the D. The dry pellets of the base X then kept in open observes moisture and turns sticky. The compound is also formed by the chloralkali process. Write the chemical name and the formula of the X. Describe the chloralkali process with balanced chemical equation. Name the type of the reaction occurs when X is treated with dilute hydrochloric acid. Write the chemical equation while diluting an acid. Why it is not recommended that the acid should be added to the water and not water to the acid. Okay. So now, X is nothing but the sodium hydroxide. When the sodium chloride solution, that is a concentrated solution of the NaCl that we call it as a brine solution. So when you are doing the electrolyze, electrolyze is nothing but you are forcing the electricity into the solution that we call it as electrolysis. So sodium hydroxide solution is formed. And also apart from the sodium hydroxide, we also get the hydrogen and the chlorine gases or liberator. So this we call it as a uh, chloralkali process. So the reactions involved in the electrolysis are 2 NaCl plus 2 H2O. Electrolysis gives 2 NaOH plus H2 plus Cl2. So this NaOH reacts with the HCl and it forms the NaCl plus H2O. The above reaction we call it as a neutralization reaction because the base reacts with the acid. And also, uh, while diluting an acid, why it is rec recommended that acid should be added to the water? Because uh, the other one is highly exothermic. That's why we are adding uh, acid to the water. A student dropped the few pieces of the marble in dilute hydrochloric acid. Contained in the test tube, the evolved gas was then forced through the lime water. What change would be observed in the lime water? What will happen if the excess of gas is passed through the lime water with the help of the balanced chemical equations for all the changes explained operations? So now the calcium carbonate, which is a marble chip. So when you are adding the hydrochloric acid, so we will get the CaCl2 plus H2O plus CO2. So when we are forcing the CO2 into the lime water, that is the CaOH twice, calcium hydroxide, so it is converted into the calcium carbonate, which is a solid, so white precipitate, plus H2O. If the excess of CO2 gas is forced through the lime water, milkiness will disappear, so due to the formation of the calcium hydrogen carbonate, which is soluble in the water. So, Actually, we have formed the CaCO3. So, in that one, if you are again pausing the more amount of the CO2, so already the H2O is present in the solution. So, we will get the CaHCO3 twice. This we call it as calcium hydrogen carbonate. This is soluble in water. So, the milkiness will disappear. The milkiness is due to the presence of the precipitate. So, identify the compound of calcium which is yellowish white powder and is used for the disinfecting the drinking water. Write its chemical name and the formula. How does it manufacture? Write the chemical equation for the reaction involved also list two other uses of the compounds. So the compound is nothing but the bleaching powder CaOCl2. So its chemical name is calcium oxychloride. So it is manufactured by the reaction of the Solid slacked lime with dry chlorine gas. So the slacked lime formula is CaOH twice. When we are causing the chlorine gas Cl2, we will get CaOCl2 plus water. So it is used as a disinfectant and also it is used for the preparation of the chloroform. So write the balanced chemical equation of the chloralkali process. So again, so it's an brine solution we have to take it in the presence of the water. So we are pausing the electricity into the brine solution. So the three useful products we will get is NaOH, H2 and the chlorine gas. So mention the pH range within which our body works. Explain how the antacids give relief from the acidity. Write the name of one such antacid. Okay. Our stomach has the pH equal to the two. 
So the antacids neutralizes the excess of the acid which is present in the body and also it will give the relief from the hyperacidity. So the sodium hydrogen carbonate is one of the such antacids. Fresh milk has a pH of 6. How does the pH will change as it turns to the curd? Explain your answer. So the pH will decrease as it turns to the curd because the curd is acidic due to the presence of the lactic acid in it. So mention the nature of the toothpaste. How do they prevent the tooth decay? So the toothpaste are the basic in nature. So they neutralize the acid which is formed in the mouth which causes the tooth decay. The crystals of the substance changed their color on heating in a closed test tube. But regained it after some time when they were allowed it to cool down. Name the substance and write its formula and explain the phenomenon involved. Okay, so this is nothing but that copper sulfate hydrated one. So copper sulfate pentahydrate which is a blue in color. When you are heating it, the water vapor comes out. So and again when you are adding the water into that, again it will regain its blue color because of the presence of the water molecule. So this we call it as reversible reaction. Name, name the compound whose one formula unit is associated with 10 water molecules. How is it prepared? Give equations of related reactions. Give the two uses of the compound. So Na2CO3, sodium carbonate is associated with the 10 molecules of the water. It is called the sodium carbonate decahydrate. Deca means nothing but the 10. So otherwise we call it as a washing soda. It is prepared by forcing the CO2 gas through the saturated solution of the ammonic brine. So NH3 plus H2O plus CO2 plus NaCl. So we will get NaHCO3 sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate plus NH4Cl ammonium chloride. So we have to take the two molecules of the NaHCO3 when we are heating it, we will get the sodium carbonate plus H2O plus CO2. So this sodium carbonate plus 10 H2O, so we will get the washing soda. So the use is this. It is used in the production of the washing soda and also it is used for the manufacture of the glass. Explain the following chemical properties of the acid with the help of the balanced chemical equations only. When an acid reacts with the metal carbonate, okay, the metal carbonate is calcium carbonate. When it reacts with the hydrochloric acid, it gives the calcium chloride plus water plus CO2 gas. Then, when an acid reacts with the metal bicarbonate, bicarbonate is nothing but hydrogen carbonate. So, NaHCO3 reacts with the HCl forms NaCl plus water plus CO2. When an acid reacts with the metal oxide, so the acid is HCl, metal oxide is Al2O3 which gives 2 AlCl3 plus 3H2O. A has the maximum H3O plus equal 10 to the power of minus 2 moles per liter. A is acidic whereas B and C are basic in nature. A yeah, metal compound X reacts with dilute sulfuric acid to produce the effervescence. The gas evolved extinguishes the burning candle. If one of the compounds formed is calcium sulfate, then what is X and the gas evolved? Also write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction which occurred. So X is nothing but the calcium carbonate because when you are heating the calcium carbonate, when you are reacting it with H2SO4 or heating it, so we will get the CO2 gas. So this will extinguish the fire. Name one antacid. How does it help to relieve the indigestion in the stomach? So the sodium hydrogen carbonate is an antacid. It neutralizes the excess of the acid which is present in the stomach. A farmer treats the soil with the quicklime or the calcium carbonate. So what is the nature of the soil? Why does the farmer treat the soil with the quicklime? 
because the soil is acidic in nature so he would like to neutralize the soil by adding the quicklime which is the good for the crops and also it will neutralize the acid which is present in the soil because in the acidic soil the plants does not grow well what are strong and the weak acids in the following list of acids separate strong acids from the weak acids okay so hydrochloric acid citric acid acetic acid nitric acid formic acid sulfuric acid so the strong acids are the one which is completely ionized in aqueous solution the weak acids are the one which does not ionize completely so the strong acids are hcl hno3 h2so4 the weak acids are the one citric acid acetic acid and formic acid the weak acids are the one which we will get from the uh, nature that we call it as organic acids that are always weak in nature that are partially dissociated okay so state the chemical name of the plaster of paris how will you okay what will happen when you are adding the plaster of paris to the water so caso4.1 half h2o calcium sulfate hemihydrate we call it as a plaster of paris when we are mixing it with the water we will get calcium sulfate dot 2 h2o so this is the gypsum we call it as What is the color of the FeSO4.7 H2O ferrous sulfate crystals? How does this color change upon heating? Give the balanced chemical equation for the changes. So the pale green is the color of the FeSO4.7 H2O crystals. It becomes dirty white on heating. So when we are heating this, so the 7 H2O water molecule will be removed and we'll get the FeSO4 which is the dirty white. So it's conversion from pale green to the dirty white. Classify the following salts into the acidic, basic and the neutral. Potassium sulfate, ammonium chloride, sodium carbonate, sodium chloride. So the neutral are the one potassium sulfate, the sodium chloride. The acidic are the one, the ammonium chloride and the basic one is the sodium carbonate. A student dropped the few pieces of the marble in the dilute HCl contained in the test tube. Okay, the evolved gas was possible through the lime water. Okay, so this is nothing but the marble is nothing but calcium carbonate. So what will happen? So it will give the uh, effervescence of the carbon dioxide gas that we have to pass it to the lime water that is CaOH twice. So which converted into the calcium carbonate. So what is universal indicator? So the universal indicator is nothing but is a mixture of the synthetic indicator which is used for to find out the pH of the unknown solutions. So write the chemical equation which is involved in the preparation of sodium hydroxide name the process. Okay. So now this uh, NaCl plus H2O when you are doing the electrolysis this is the concentrated brine solution. So we'll get the NaOH plus H2 gas plus Cl2 gas. So this we call it as the chloralkali process. A gas X reacts with the lime water and forms the compound Y. So which is used as the bleaching agent in the chemical industry. Identify X and the Y. Give the chemical equation of the reactions involved. So X is the chlorine. Y is the bleaching powder. So CaOH twice when it reacts with the chlorine gas will get the CaOCl2 which is a bleaching powder plus water. So name the compound which is obtained from the baking soda and is used to remove the permanent hardness of the water. So the sodium carbonate which is obtained from the baking soda and it is used to remove the hardness of the water. So the formula for the sodium carbonate is Na2CO3. So when we are adding water to that, it is converted into the washing soda. The formula is Na2CO3 dot NH2O. So what is the neutralization reaction? Give the examples. The neutralization reaction is nothing but when the acid reacts, neutralizes the base to form the salt under the water. So example, KOH, which is a base, reacts with the HNO3, it's a nitric acid. It forms the KNO3 salt plus H2O. Then the NaOH, which is a strong base, reacts with the sulfuric acid and it forms Na2SO4 plus 2H2O. 
So what does the tooth enamel chemically state the condition when it starts corroding? What happens when food particles left in the mouth after eating degree? Why do doctors suggest use of the tooth powder or the toothpaste to prevent the tooth decay? So because our tooth is made up of the calcium phosphate which is basic in nature. So if the it will start corrode when due to the acid which is formed in the mouth. So the whatever the food particles which is left, left out in the mouth after the acids. So it will start to decay our tooth. So the toothpaste and the tooth powder which are basic in nature. It will neutralize the excess acid which is present in the tooth and also it will prevent the tooth decay what is an alkali give example so alkali is nothing but it's a soluble basis we call it as alkali say for example sodium hydroxide because always the group one metals are easily soluble in the water why do HCl, HNO3, etc. show the acidic characters in aqueous solutions while the solutions of the compounds like alcohol and the glucose do not show acidic character? Because the HCl, HNO3 which is ionized in aqueous solution whereas the alcohol and the glucose does not show the acidic characters because they do not ionize in the aqueous solutions. So the compounds like alcohols and the glucose also contain the hydrogen but are not characterized as the acids. Okay, so describe an activity to prove it. So now we have to take the uh, beaker of 250 ml and we have to place the two nails which is fixed with the help of the cork. Why? Because it is an iron, that's why. So we connect the nails to the two terminals of the 6 volt battery. So now add some water containing the ethanol and put the switch on. Repeat the experiment with the glucose solution. Okay. Then now observation, the bulb will not glow and the needle of the ammeter will not show any deflection because the glucose and the ethanol does do not conduct any electricity. So conclusion is the experiment shows the glucose and the ethanol do not ionize in the aqueous solution. It, it means that they do not give any H plus ions. So therefore they do not conduct the electricity. So that's why they are not characterized in the uh, in the category of the acids. The pH of the sample of the vegetable soup was found to be 6.5. How is this soup likely to taste? So the taste will be slightly sour because it is a weakly acidic because it is less than 7. So which bases are called the alkalis? Give an example of the alkalis. The soluble bases are called the alkalis. Example, sodium hydroxide. <coughs> So write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction between the sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid indicating the physical state of the reactants and the products. Okay. So the Na2CO3 is a solid which is reacts with the two HCl aqueous. It gives the two NaCl aqueous plus CO2 gas plus H2 liquid. So what happens when chlorine is passed over the slack line at 313 Kelvin? Write the chemical equation of the reaction involved and state two uses of the product uptime. So the bleaching powder is formed. The CaOH twice plus Cl2 in the at 313 Kelvin it forms the CaOCl2 plus H2O. It is used as a bleaching agent in the paper and the textile industries. It is used as a disinfectant in the purification of the drinking water. So what would be the color of the red litmus in a solution of the sodium carbonate? So the sodium carbonate is a basic in nature. So the red litmus will change to the blue color in the sodium carbonate solution. So which gas is evolved when the sodium hydrogen carbonate reacts with the dilute hydrochloric acid? So the carbon dioxide gas is evolved because the carbonate will give the carbon dioxide gas. Curd is not kept in the copper and the brass utensils. Why? Because the curd and the sour substances contains the acid. So which can easily react with the brass and the copper vessels to form the poisonous salts which are harmful for our health. So name the gas usually liberated when a dilute acid reacts with the metal. 
So what happens when a burning candle is brought near this gas? Okay, so H2 gas is liberated. So we will get the pop sound when the burning candle is brought near the gas. What effect does an increase in the concentration of the H plus in a solution have on the pH of the solution? So the higher the concentration of the pH, lower will be the higher concentration of the H plus, lower will be the pH of the solution. So which one of these has the higher concentration of the H plus ion? One molar HCl or one molar acetic acid? One molar HCl has a higher concentration because it is a strong acid. Why does one molar HCl solution have a higher concentration of the H plus ions than the one molar CH3COOH solution? Because it's having a higher concentration because it is a strong acid, it ionizes completely, whereas the CH3COOH does not because it is a weak acid. So which gas is liberated when the dilute solution of the hydrochloric acid reacts with an active metal? So the H2 gas will be liberated. What is the color of the litmus in a solution of the ammonium hydroxide? So the ammonium hydroxide, the uh, red litmus will turn the blue because it is basic in nature. What is meant by the water of crystallization of the substance? Describe an activity to show that the blue copper sulfate crystals contains the water of crystallization. Okay. So here nothing but we have to take the blue vitriol which is nothing but the copper sulfate dot 5 H2O. So which we have to heat it. So what will happen this blue color of the crystals it will give some vapor that will condense over here. So after some time the same vapor we are not allowing the vapor to escape. So the same vapor will come and after we have to close this burner. So the same vapor will condense and it will react with the crystals and it forms the blue color solution. So CuSO4.5 H2O, blue vitriol, it gives the heat which will convert it into the copper sulfate plus 5 H2O. So the conclusion is the crystalline substances have the water of crystallization which are lost on heating. So this we have already seen it. Okay. So name the products formed in each case. Okay. The granulated zinc is reacts with the caustic soda. Zn plus 2 NaOH gives Na2ZnO2 sodium zincate plus hydrogen gas. The calcium carbon dioxide is poured into the lime water. The lime water is nothing but the calcium hydroxide plus CO2. It forms the CaCO3 plus water.